Hello and uh, welcome to episode 30 of uh, Let's Play Horizon Forbidden West. So, in this episode, we are going to continue with the main quest line. And uh, I think that's actually the only thing we can do. Yeah, main quest and uh, yeah, the side quest is still locked. Uh, we got a few errands we could do, but uh, I don't feel like uh, doing those right now. But uh, we should probably do them at some point because they do give us uh, skill points. One on that one and uh, another one there, plus a bunch of experience. This one obviously I have to wait a while. That's one spear damage. That's not bad. So uh, yeah, uh, maybe in the next episode we uh, start working on these. It's a bit weird though. I can't see a range on this one, so it must be pretty far off. And uh, considering we are currently uh, 12 levels too low i'm guessing we have not been there yet so yeah let's uh continue with the cold root pronounced and uh let's see where is there is our mount And there it is. She's with us. Let her pass. Outlander, Chief Akaro and Marshal Katalo await you within. All right. The cool route should be starting soon. Once it's done. I'll be able to access the chamber below Hikaro's throne. And ether. Outland, the chief awaits you in the arena, past the throne. All right. This must lead to the arena. Well, looks like uh, we start off this episode with a uh, fight. It's another part of the ruins, turned into a fighting ring. Look at them all. Honor and strength. They know a battle is coming. Be guided by the crusher. I hope you're right, Mark. Ooh, nice. A tenar, a uh, martial armor. <laughs> This could be useful. Um, uh, let's see how good or bad that one is. Uh, plus the heavy weapon, plus the stealth, uh, tear, low health region, and low health def defense. Pretty bad against the uh, electric, though. Actually, not pretty bad. It's <laughs> borderline ridiculously bad. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, yeah. Aloy, it seems you've had to move mountains to bring the Sky Clan to heal. Literally. Katalo helped. Yes. Takote reprimanded for all the clan to see. You both served well. But now the cool route is at hand. Some have come to compete, others to bear witness. They know Regala will come for me. I'll do whatever it takes to hold up my end as long as you remember yours. So what's the plan? Katalo, 
There are only two viable ways to attack the arena. Through the throne room you just passed, and by the trail on the north end. We've set up barricades at both. But if Regala means to assault the cool route with machines, she will have to attack by the trail. You will join our defenders there. Hold the line, and I'll have my marshals. You will be free of my service and receive your reward. Make whatever preparations you must. Once the cool route begins, you must see it through. Ah. Uh. I know where I'll be. What about you two? I will be here with the Chief, where I belong. Should the fight reach us, we will take the blood owed for our fallen. If it comes to that, the defenses will hold. The grove, the arena, it's all part of the same ancient structure? Yes. Here the land remembers the sacrifice of the Ten, their deeds commemorated for eternity. Sacrifice? The visions tell us that on the ground below, they gave their lives in a fight against machines. We honored them by holding the cool route where they fell. All right. Let's get this over with. Good. You'll find Decca at the north barricade with the rest of our defenders. Strike true as the ten. I'll see you when this is done. Alright. Uh, looks like we are going this way. In the name of the ten. We celebrate skill and courage today. Let Regala face our Let new marshals. Let this battle be fought. Let the war be won. The marshals shall stand again. It's your hand that made this happen, oh. Outlander. The spirit of the Tanakh is found in the cool root. Our blades strike together. All right. Uh, I don't think, uh, the title. I don't think, uh, the upgrading this will improve. Actually, it will. If I upgrade it, it will actually improve, uh, the shock resist. Problem is, how far can I upgrade it? That's level two. Level three. And level four. I'm missing Sunwing uh, primary nerve to actually upgrade it fully to level four. And uh, fully upgraded, this armor is certainly not bad. Uh, I got low health regen, stealth tear, and uh, heavy weapon. And low health defense. <sighs> Let's see, what do I have? On my current armor, which is not full upgraded either. Uh, silent Strike. Silent Strike Gain. I don't know what that gives me. Uh, recover weapon stamina and uh, earn additional valor when using a uh, Silent Strike. Approach an enemy, yeah. All right. Uh, recover health, that's given. Quiet spear. Uh, melee attack or 
quiet reducing the chance of being detected by nearby enemies hmm. not bad so i feel like um the Ator armor is uh, better for our build so yeah let's uh, stick at that and uh see what else do i have here all right Marshall must be earned with courage there's the outlander who saved the cool route if regala comes it will prove she is a traitor to the knock uh i got that one medium health do I have more in my chest? A battle's coming. You're watching history. You can feel it in the uh, okay. Here. Good day. No, I did not. In the name of the ten. Uh, is there anyone I can buy anything from here? No. Let the blades speak. Uh. All right. Well, let's go with this one. This is a ceremony. I've got some shards right here. Near entertainment. <laughs> Let every blade win honor today. This will be a heavy day. Let the challenger's blade speak for them. Your spear shall this lead cool us. This cool will honor the fallen marshals. That was Mr. Oh. The thugs, of course. Walk with strength. Welcome. Chief Champion. Honors. What an honor. Easterner. Didn't think the Sky Commander himself would be joining us today. If there's a chance my challengers will be facing Regala, it is only right their commander join in their fate. Or maybe you need to save face after what happened at the bulwark. <laughs> Careful now. Sometimes sharp wits bring out sharp spears. I'd save my spear for Regala's troops, if I were you. <laughs> oh. Always be vigilant. Okay. Picaro's defenders should be at the end of this trench. But we must hold. And look. We are not alone in this fight. Am I supposed to be up there? Ah, uh, how do I get up there? Oh, there is a... <laughs> wow! First thing you get blind on is your eyes, I heard. And uh, I just proved that right. Focus on the machines. Take them down. And Regala's forces become no different from our own. Yes, Chaplain. Watch each other's backs. Dismissed. Our soldiers are ready. They will defend the cool route from below from above not bad where did you get it one of our squads ripped it off a fallen machine the honor is yours regala may have her tricks but you will show her our teeth The cool root is upon us! Our struggle demands new blood! New leaders! Release the quarry! Tell 
villagers approach oh you got to be kidding me all who take down a machine shall be named Marshall. remember the ten strike from the air as they did and seize your glory
I can draw that thing close! Open fire! Hopefully that's an will fire a few shots from that ballista. Gala went after Hikaru and Katalo. I gotta get to them. Here they come!
How the hell do I? This isn't finished! I'll be back with everything I have! And all who stand with Hakaro will be run red. At attention. You fought well. Proved yourself against enemies both metal and flesh. I name you all, Marshal. Your first order is to secure the arena from any remaining rebels. Go. I failed. I should have finished Radala. But now she'll be back with more machines. Stronger than ever. I'll do what I can to help. No, you've done enough. Far more than our bargain called for. When we first met, you spoke of your true mission on which all depends. I wasn't certain if I believed you then. But I believe in you now. So leave me. And get to your task. What will you do? Tend to the wounds. What you need is there. Take it. Your deeds today will be remembered like those of the Ten. All right. This is it. Either's below. Still have some time left, so yeah. uh that console. Come on, Aether. Time to go home. <laughs> Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring Aether's subordinate function to original code. Got it. 
Now to get this back to Gaia. The visions in the grove have changed. The words of the Ten are now clear to us. Here, this must be the vision that Chief Ikaro saw years ago. All of the visions are changed, and this one just... arrived. Please, Aloy. The visions throughout the grove are different now. And this one, it, it just appeared. Is this your doing? The visions have changed. That's the one that inspired Chief Hakaro. More testimony of the old ones. Hear now the words that reunited a people. Following the tragic events of the war, Anne Faraday, the chief architect of the reconciliation effort, addressed a nation in need of hope. If we look into the future, the lens of the recent past, our fears loom. Wars waged against machines, scarcity of food and water, Storms that drive us from our homes. But true courage means facing those fears with conviction instead of cynicism. Leading the peacekeeping effort with these brave men and women, these marshals of the new Southwest, has strengthened my conviction that when we are united, we can overcome any threat. Join me. Join us in that conviction as we strive for a nation and a world without want or war. Reporting for duty, Commander. I'm coming with you. But Hikaru needs you. Because of you, he has new marshals. And a rallying cry the clans cannot ignore. So I will stand with you on your mission. Give whatever is left of my life. It is what I choose. How can I say no to that? Zoe, there's someone who wants to join us. I need you to meet him in the foothills and guide him the rest of the way. Will do, Aloy. Go to the mountains, west of Plainsong. A friend of mine will meet you on the ascent. I'll join you when I can. A friend of yours? Should be interesting. Mm. Honor 
All right. I need to get Aether back to Gaia. Seems like capturing it did something to the other holograms, too. Might be worth checking out. I need a captain. My blade's not as quick as I'd like. Well, if you're ever in need of a sparring partner. Today we'll Maybe demand a sharpened blade, Alvander. I don't think I'll go easy on you. Regala will fall. Where did they even get such a weapon? Aloy. A word, if you will? Blood of the Ten, Aloy. Regala denied. The truth of the visions revealed. I doubt you have enough skin to mark all your deeds. We'll just have to remember them, then. <laughs> well... Thanks to you, the Chief still lives, and hope remains. But that's not why I wanted to speak with you. I need a favor, a personal one. My grandson, Cavo. He was not counted among the dead, which means he must still be with Regala's remaining forces. He was taken prisoner? No. He joined them willingly. Like many young soldiers who seek to mark their skin with distinguished deeds. I must search for him. Convince him to come home. Chief Hikaru cannot spare any soldiers for this task, so my blade is alone in this. Unless you'd be willing to join me. I know it is much to ask after all you've done for us. But Kavo is the last of my blood. If Kavo joined Regala's rebellion of his own accord, will Hikaru let him back into the tribe? The chief knows the value of mercy, and the toll of unending bloodshed. It's the rest of the tribe I'm more concerned about. They won't quickly accept someone who betrayed them. Even with my support, it won't be easy. But you have to try. You said Kavo's your last living relative? Yes. Before Chief Ikaro, the clans warred constantly with each other. Every skirmish claimed another comrade. One by one, I buried my children. And then, their children. I'm sorry. I tried to vent my grief on the battlefield, but I never found comfort there. Only in the wisdom of the visions. And even so, I still couldn't prevent Cavo from following the trail of blood. What made Kavo join Regala's rebellion? For some, Regala represents a chance of vengeance against the Karja. During the Red Raids, it wasn't easy to turn the clans back at Baron Light. Many wanted to pursue the Karja all the way to Meridian. So when Regala attacked the Embassy, they took it as a call to arms? Yes. But others, the young especially, <laughs> care only about the glory they think they'll earn by hunting an age-old enemy. As for Cavo, it was probably a bit of both, and a youthful desire for a cause to get the blood burning. Nothing I said could stop him. I'll help you find your grandson, if I can. Where do we start? A while back, our scouts reported Cavo's squad left one of Regala's outposts in the hills to the south. His squad never returned, but the scouts also spotted one of our own being held captive there. So we'll start at the outpost. If we free the prisoner, maybe they'll know where Kevo's squad went. Shall we head out? I have some other things to take care of first. I can meet you there. I'll wait for you on the hill crest southeast of the grove. We'll make our way to the outpost from there. Until then... Strike true. So say the chief. All right. Lasting peace with the carcass. Then out in the field or relaxing at base. 
Joint Task Force 10 acted as one. Led by Colonel Edward De La Hoya, their bodies and weapons were always honed for battle. Meals. Your marks are true. Bruises. These daredevils of the sky shared it all. Yeah. And they're all friendly, right? Come on. Don't be naive. Let's see. Is that the side quest by any chance? Uh Blood for Blood. Okay, that's that quest. Uh -huh. Taste of victory. Well, uh... so I asked the chaplain the other day, how did the ten fly their mountain? You've come this far. We will stand by you. May your blade be bright. Oh. At home or abroad, your enemy is mine. Assets critical to the insurrection. Deep in the jungle, concealed by mud and darkness, they laid their traps for their enemies. Is that playback device working properly? Yes. Thank you for helping to fix it. Hmm. What will you do with the recordings? Well, I'll have to speak to my superiors and see if we can make space for them. They aren't from the Ten, but the voices of all warriors must be heard and remembered. Did the Delver say anything about where to find the recordings? Only that she found them in ancient flying machines, and that they were sending out some sort of signal. There is a locator signal from the recording. I can detect it with my... relic. That should help me find any more voices that are out there. There are still more voices for me to find. I hope I get the chance to learn from them. The ones we have will teach us much. I'll see if the signal leads me to another recording. Honor and strength. You are weapons free and clear to engage the swarm. Good hunting. Copy that. We'll buy Zero Dawn the time you need. Delta will be at nine hours. All right. Well, I can uh, word now. Uh, what it must have been like to fly into battle. Freighter. I found him in rebel gear. He was the one who killed his squad. What? Blood and steel shall mix so today. Regala will fall. Good day, sparring partner. Nice. All right. So, uh. Black box collector. Oh, there is a workbench here. Hunter, teacher, and something unknown over there. All right, let's uh, head back to uh, Gaia. Yeah. I bought a few uh, sleeping bags so we can use them. And uh, holy crap, this graphic is amazing. Like, sure, it's only a picture, but still, that's some amazing graphics there. The snowfall is blanketing the land. All right, uh, let's uh, yeah, like this. Oh, uh, you're not waving a hammer around, Aaron. Try a gentler touch. 
And my big sausage fingers don't really do gentle, okay? <laughs> Bring it back. Trace the line. To your right. Other right. I just saw it. It's the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha. They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. Yeah, now that's music. Aloy! Aaron, you're all better. And you're here. Well, the world only goes on if you can do your thing. We learn fast enough, we help make that happen. You want all the backup you can get, right? We still have much training to do, of course. One does not become hunter in a day. Each seed grows at a pace of its own. Doesn't mean it won't bloom. You should know your Tanakh friend arrived. Katalo. I heard their warriors drink people's blood. I want to sleep with one eye open. I think he's seen enough blood for a lifetime. I showed him to one of the rooms. He seems to appreciate the privacy. Uh, looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I'm seeing glyphs in my dreams already. <laughs> well, while you've been off gallivanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the land gods. So from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Come along. Uh... Oh, uh... Okay. <laughs> oh. Ow. That is focus things trying to kill me? You did almost drown it in beer. Not on purpose. <laughs> All right, let's uh, finish this up with uh, Gaia, and uh, we can talk to them in the next episode. Welcome back, Aloy. When you're ready, please merge Ether with me. Afterwards, I must discuss an important matter with you. What did you want to discuss? While you were away, I received an unusual transmission on my dedicated Eleuthia frequency. Eleuthia? That's one of the sub-functions you couldn't detect before. Yes. The transmission occurred so slowly that at first it seemed like an accidental blip of data amongst background static. Once I noticed this irregularity, it took some time to collate the complete message. Where does it lead? To a mountain to the northwest of this facility. A word of caution, Aloy. It is possible this transmission is genuine. It is also possible it is being broadcast by someone or something else. You don't think it's actually Eleuthia? I am uncertain. What's SOS? It is an old world code. A distress signal. A desperate plea for help. Why would Eleuthia send a coded transmission on a frequency only the two of you can communicate on? I believe it was done as a precaution to avoid detection. Or at least to create the appearance of the desire to do so. I am also uncertain why Eleuthia would expect that I would be able to detect and respond to its distress signal at all. As far as it is aware, I no longer function. Okay, so... Either Eleuthia is in trouble, and sent the message hoping you were out there... ...or someone else is trying to get us to go to these coordinates, pretending to be Eleuthia. That is my conclusion as well. You 
said the coordinates lead to a mountain to the northwest. What's there? I have no record of anything of note in that vicinity. Okay, and what about the other number in the message? 237. Any idea what that means? I have queried my available databases, but it does not appear to have any significance. Perhaps its meaning can only be understood at the indicated coordinates. Could the Zenus be sending the transmission? According to the data I reviewed on your focus, the Zeniths recovered the other Gaia root kernel in the Hades Proving Lab. It is feasible they used it to gain access to my internal frequencies. So... Maybe they sent it thinking you'd respond, and reveal your location. Possibly. However, the transmission is highly irregular. If they intended to provoke me into revealing myself, I would expect the communication to be more routine. Right. So maybe it's not them, then. All right. I'll go to the coordinates and check out the source of the transmission. All by yourself? Ha! No way. I included Erend and Varl in this briefing via their focuses. I concur that you should not investigate this alone. What if it's a trap? Of course it could be a trap. But if it really is Eleuthia, then it's in trouble, and I need to bring it back. Don't worry. I'll be careful and... We're coming with you. Fine. Go grab your things. We'll wait for you at the west exit, in case you need to upgrade your gear. All right. So, uh, then, oh, and, uh, looks like we got a quest menu, there we go. So, uh, uh, on hold until Cradle of Echoes has been completed. Okay. Uh, Gaia has, uh, all right. And both of those are on hold. Uh, same one on that. On hold until Tala Talana finds a way across the mountain. All right, well, uh, guess we are doing this one in the next episode. So thank you all for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed this episode. And if you did, feel free to uh, hit the like button. And of course, if you're new here, uh, first of all, welcome. And uh, if you enjoy my content, then why don't you hit the subscribe button together with the notification bell. <laughs> So you don't miss out on any of my future content. I will be uh, back again tomorrow. And until then, stay safe out there.